Now, this week on BBC World News, we've launched a season that we are calling 100 Women, focusing on many of the issues surrounding gender equality. As part of our coverage today, we're looking at education, specifically the lack of women training in science and technology. Now, it's a theme that's also being addressed by the UN today in what they've called the Day of the Girl Child. Here are some recent statistics on women in the technology in industry. They make for interesting reading. In 2010, only 15% of US computer science undergraduates were female. Only 10% of internet entrepreneurs across the world are women. And yet, 30% of the best paid jobs for women are in the technology sector. So, to discuss how we can get more girls and young women interested in science and technology, I'm joined by Belinda Palmer, who is CEO of uh, Lady Geek, an agency that makes technology more accessible to women and girls. I'm also glad to say we've got Zia Tongerman in the studio. She's a 13-year-old student and she's a participant in one of the little Miss Geek campaigns and I'm going to get to the part of that in just a moment here but I'll start with you Belinda is this really necessary I mean do you need to work very hard to get young women into science and technology in interested in it Absolutely. I mean, in the UK, only 17% of the technology workforce is female. And that's bad enough, but it's going down each year. And if you look at the number of A-levels being taken by girls, it's lower and lower each year. So there's a real crisis, and Little Miss Geek is addressing that. And yet, girls, as <coughs> I see it, around the world, maybe not in the UK and the US, but in most countries in the world, are now outperforming boys in the sciences at school. So. Two questions. What's going on in the US and the UK to make girls still have a problem in this area? And second of all, why is it that there isn't the follow through from doing well at school to getting the jobs in science and technology business? You're right, girls do outperform boys, but the issue is that one of the biggest issues is the image problem. So the image of girls is of people who work in technology are pizza guzzling nerds who can't get girlfriends. <laughs> and that is a perception that we are changing and we're doing that through schools and we're doing that working inside the schools with girls like Zia to really change that perception because technology is a wonderful career and that's what we need to do. We need to inspire girls to change the world through technology. Let's talk to a girl, Zia. <laughs> when did you decide to embrace your inner geek? <laughs> well, when Little Miss Geek came to came to my school for a workshop I just I just um, like was able to see a fun side of technology that I hadn't seen before because as Belinda said it's just like people that sit and watch a, a computer screen all day and are not very cool yeah. so but then when they showed us that it could actually be fun I just thought you know what this is something that maybe I want to do and you have done it in a big way I know you've worked on an app which has great potential tell us a little bit about the particular project you've been on well at St Saviour's and St Olaf's my school and um, we started a project called apps for good and we had to do, we had to create a uh, app that would solve a problem and the the app me and my friend created was about recycling and it's, it's actually gone very far and we, we're um, just carrying on building it now. It, it sounds fabulous. I mean, I've read a little <laughs> bit about the, what it does and, and it, it sounds amazing. Would you like yourself now to develop on the skills you're acquiring and make a career in science and technology? Definitely, because from what they've shown me, it's just a, it's a really exciting industry and I personally would like to, like, get rid of the stereotype and just show that girls can do it as well. Right, well getting rid of the stereotype is such an important point. Belinda, you, you've got the whole sort of Little Miss Geek project to try and make this happen. What are the key things that you are doing? So one is working with governments who really drive changes in policy and get the government to take this issue seriously. Secondly is going into the actual schools and having a big impact on the way technology is taught and revolutionising the way technology is taught. Um, one girl said to me, ICT stands for I can type. So that's a sad state to be in. But the third thing is giving teachers the resources. Well, uh, it's something we'll follow up definitely in coming months, but thank you both, Belinda and uh, Zia, for coming into the GMT studio today. It's great to meet you both. Thank you very much.